Hello, my friends. It is Tuesday, January 16th, 2018. It's Drunk Poker Time. Your time. Your time today is one of those things that we talked about um, a little earlier, well, a little later in 2017 and early in 2018 is the that, you know, and we've been talking about it for a couple of years, some of us now, but the rise of pilsners and lagers and so more of them from craft breweries and more sort of accessible styles to maybe people who don't drink craft beer and hopefully trying to bring them into the fold. Um, one that came out last year, which I missed, which luckily Mrs. Polk picked up for me from our friends at Great Lakes, is the Over My Dad Body Pilsner. Um, always great can art. Um, meet Dr. Morty Jenkinson. Crank the Bob Seeger and raise a glass to him and that father figure. Well, I'm pretty dad bod myself. Um, so let's move on from there. Uh, let's get into it. I love a good pilly. You know, I like a good... Uh, Good straight up beer, man. We we talk about it a couple times. We've had some with the hellish loggers and the blonde ales lately, and there's something about a good beer. That's a beer. How many Great Lakes glasses do I have? You want to know? Many many glasses. I believe I have six different Great Lakes glasses, cause I do. Anyways, cheers to accessible beers, to pilsners and loggers, to beer. Cheers. Nice, grassy, little floral, sweet malts, like toasty malts. I like it. Cheers. Whew. First sip of beer on a day off is different than a first sip of beer when you're at work. It's not so much a reward as a beginning. It's the beginning of the, of the day drinking, which is always fun. But no, very nice, crisp and clean. You're getting that biscuity toasted malt. You get a bit of grassy and uh, floral hops. Very, very simple. Some sweetness. A little bit of bitterness because you're always going to get some bitterness in your beer. Drink a Canadian. There's still bitterness there. But it's a nice bitterness. It's got flavor to it. It's got some body going on, you know. It's a nice, easy drinking, simple beer. Did I say it was already like 5%? I think it's 5%. So it's even perfectly crushable. I mean, that's the kind of thing you're, you're going to see more of as we go along. Um... The only problem, I think, with, with Pilsners and with these simple beers is that there's nowhere to hide. Now, not like Great Lakes would need to, but I know when I was making my first homebrew, the guy the guy at the homebrew store said, you know, make an IPA. Hops cover a lot of mistakes. So there is nowhere to hide. If you make a poor Pilsner, everything will show. You know what I mean? There's no, no, you're not hiding behind hops or thick, big roasted malts. It's just, you know... It's beer that tastes good, but it's got to be well made. And this is one of them. This is an excellent Pilsner. It's a little more flavorful um, and a little more oomph than, than, than I've seen before. And I like that. I like, I like my, my Pilsners with a little bit of stuff. And, you know, who don't like a good Pilly Pilly? Bring the Pilly Pilly back. We're taking the Dilly. We're turning it into a Pilly. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this and uh, maybe the other can because why not? It's a, it's a day off. It's like a Sunday for me, so... I've got to really stretch it out and enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you're enjoying yours. The weekend can't get here soon enough. Cheers. Pele, pele. Pele, pele.